What's up, what's up, what's up? What is going on, family? I hope everybody is having a marvelous Saturday today. I hope everybody is just feeling blessed because it's, it's a blessed day. Ooh, excuse me, I'm moving this camera around a lot. Let me just put it right here. <laughs> it's a blessed day to uh, be alive. You know, every day is a blessed day to be alive. And so one of the things that I want to speak about today uh, greetings, 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 Peter. What's going on? Is um, learning how to manifest on will. Just knowing how to manifest with a simple thought, you know, because we are all that, we're that powerful. We're literally souls here having a human experience. Like this outside body is just an outside body. And so we have to, uh, and just give me a minute real quick. I'm going to share this. If you're just getting on here, please share, um, please share this. This is going to be a great message, and I'm going to be giving out some helpful tips um, with things that has been helping me out on my journey of, like, just manifesting. So just share this video really quick. It's not going to be long. I'm getting some more people on here. Um, thank you for joining in. Peace, goddess, peace, peace, peace. You know, if you're just coming in, just go ahead and like and share this video. Um, because when I'm inspired to do a video, I do it. So um, this is one of those one of those days where I'm like, look, everybody needs to hear this. So I'm gonna just go ahead and um, you know make the the video. So what we're gonna be speaking about today is the different parts of your mind, right? And how you can use the different phases of your mind to be able to come in alignment with what you want in your reality. Because literally the only thing you're really doing is you're just tapping inside of that oneness frequency. You know, we're all connected as one. And so um, once you learn the different parts of your mind, you're able to bring those together, right? And so, you know, the basic state of mind or what we would say is like level one of the mind is your conscious mind so it's like your normal everyday like I'm walking over here I'm gonna go pick the kids up you know what am I gonna eat today you know that's the normal conscious mind like I say it like the first level of your mind and then you have the second level of your mind which is like the middle man like the bridge that middle point, you know, that point that knows how to kind of decipher things, if that makes sense. Decipher things between, which brings me up to the third part of the mind, the subconscious mind. The subconscious mind, and then you have your conscious mind, and then you got the middle man, like the bridge. So the thing is to balance the two, because once that's balanced, that's when you tap into your super conscious mind. That's what we call the infinite consciousness. Like we're all connected. We're connected to everything. And literally your mind is your genie. What you want, you literally can get with your words. Like if you ever paid attention to your words before, and let's just say you didn't want something, nine times out of 10, it came, right? It came because, hey, you say you didn't want it. And so whatever you speak and you align that with the two minds, you manifest easily. So some things that we want to do is we want to remember what we speak because we're powerful. I don't really know if we really understand that or not, but we are literally powerful. And to be in lack and all of that is a freaking illusion. Um, it's unnatural to be in lack. Um because everything is so prosperous for us, you know, um, it's everything is here for us. There's not a, it's not a lack of food because food can be grown in the ground. There's no scarcity of food. If you don't have any money for food, grow food. You know, if you don't have any money for food, grow food. You know what I mean? So there's no, there's no, there's no limit on what there is out there for us. And it's the same thing with money. There is not an amount of money that we cannot tap into because abundance is within us. Only thing that we have to do is literally use our mind. And I, I literally say that like, and science can even provenly back that up the four pieces of the mind. So you really wanna watch what you, you know, what you put out. 
Uh, and so, um, with that being said, I'm gonna give you a little a little exercise that you can do um, to help you kind of, you know, get into the groove of manifesting what you want. And it also starts a lot with the breath. Like, I want you to pay attention next time to see if you stop breathing. Like, literally, pay attention and see if you like just holding your breath. Because I know sometimes I like hold my breath and I don't breathe. And we need to breathe, you know, because breath is so essential. Some of us don't breathe, so we're not getting that clear channel of prana. So, um, you know, you want to close your eyes and you want to really focus on your breath for a little bit. And you just kind of let, as you focus on that breath, you could just feel the subconscious mind just being at state. You're not really you know, thinking about, well, what bills am I going to pay and what am I going to do? And if those thoughts do come, just let them pass. Like, let those thoughts pass. Like, thoughts are like clouds. <laughs> you can't stop the clouds from coming, but the clouds is going to pass right by, right? So thoughts are like clouds. So even when you're doing your meditation and you're still thinking about that outside stuff, just let it pass, right? And really just focus on that subconscious mind connecting with that infinite mind, that super conductive mind. And I guarantee you that you can manifest what you want. And I'm speaking through experience. Some of you guys might not even know my story, you know, and I, I guess I really don't share my story so much. I guess I do and I don't. I know I give a lot of like inspirational stuff, but, you know, um, sharing the story and I, I apologize if it's like really dark in here. But um, it's a little rainy down here today in Mexico. But um, let me let me tell you a little bit about my story real quick, so I can back up what I'm what I'm speaking. You know what I mean? So um, some of you guys have been following my journey, and some of you guys are new to the channel. So if you new to to this broadcast, to this frequency, welcome. Um, I'm welcoming all loving, beloved beings um, in my uh, space and time. So um, I just got to Mexico nearly about two weeks ago. Um, I was staying in San Diego. I was there for about a month. And before then, I was in, like, Northern California. So on that journey, I learned the art of really manifesting what I want and fast. Like, things were coming rapid. They were coming rapid. Things were Manifesting rapid in my life because of these same principles that I'm explaining to you. So, um, so I I believe in simple living. I believe in simple luxury. You know, still being luxurious and simple all at the same time, and being grateful for what you have in that present moment, and also just using what you have in that moment to be able to um, really expand what you already have. If that makes sense. So got to San Diego. My plans was to live in San Diego. Like I was like, you know, Mexico was on the agenda, but I was like, you know what? We're gonna stay in San Diego. So um, we didn't really have a clear vision at first. We just knew we were gonna stay there, but we didn't know like we just didn't really know anything to be honest. We were just kind of going with the flow. That's we're digital nomads, me and my beautiful partner, and so. We just was like, we're just going to go to San Diego and everything's going to work out. And so um, it came a point in time where um, we didn't want to sign any leases or anything for any contracts for any homes because it would make it it wouldn't make any sense if we didn't have a clear vision. So we kind of just slept by the beach for a whole month. And what that teaches you is a how to adapt in whatever you know circumstances you are. And B, how to be grateful for what you had. Because, yes, I could have went and I could have got me like, a, I don't know, a, a vacation rental or something like that. Maybe they had vacation rentals for months or something. But why spend, you know, um, a, you know, over a thousand in San Diego on a place that I'm not sure I'm going to stay at wherein I can camp out? You know what I mean? Because nine times out of ten, we only use our houses to sleep and to shower because we're always at work, constantly working, 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 right? So for me, all I had to do was get up, go to the gym in the morning. I would go to my to go to the gym 
take my showers, you know, and then go to, um, I went to like a, a workspace. So I would do my work there. So I didn't skip a beat. You know, I didn't really skip a beat at all. And so I had this big monster truck. I literally had a big truck. Her name was BB, Bertha Benice. And I'm really just sitting here right now to share my, um, my my experience and I really want to go down into detail so I thank you for being patient um and so we just kind of just uh camped out in the car and we never missed a beat you know like I still was watching my Netflix I had put everything in my window and everything and it was it was bomb like, I, I didn't miss a beat like I was saving money and um I was living life and so what I, what what San Diego taught me is just at like I would do a lot of my work at Panera Bread and I would get free teas, free water, um, or well, no water is a given, but free teas, uh, free cakes. I'm not even gonna lie, I like the little cookies and croissants they have there. So it never failed that somebody was always like I would think it in my mind, like, you know, today I'm gonna manifest a cookie. Or today, like I was just like I was it was really like I tapped into my childhood nature. I really tapped into my imagination. And I was like, ooh, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna manifest this. And I kid you not, like I start doing it for shit and giggles, just to be like, wow, this is like really working. Like I'm really manifesting this stuff. And it came to the point where I didn't have to come out my pocket and give any fiat type of money. I didn't have to give any fiat type of money because abundance is within. Money is energy. Money is positive energy. So the more you keep your positive energy up, the more you can manifest. So I manifested those circumstances with those people to be able to get what I want. I aligned all of my minds together to come into direct contact with the infinite, with the infinite source. We all have connected connection to source, whether you want to call it God, Buddha, Jesus, Allah, whoever. I don't think he's he or she or whatever is really complaining about a name, you know? So anywho, you know, that was just like a grand scheme of things. Like, you know, my father came into town he spoiled me, you know, I, I wanted certain things, like, and I just started getting it, like, I wanted a new cell phone, and, you know, like, all of a sudden, I got a Samsung 9, and I'm not a luxury phone type of person, like, I can get any type of phone, and I'm fine, but the universe was like, you know what, it's time for you to have an upgrade phone with a good camera, so you can do your business, so, you know, just things after things that I wanted, I just, I just kept seeing it, and, um, you know, those are just a few instances of things that has happened in my life and during this journey of um, what I've been, you know, doing, like just, you know, traveling on the road, you know, doing my business from wherever, wherever, wherever I'm at, I could do my business. And so um, it, I'm very, you know, passionate about sharing this information with the community because this is my, um, this is my gift, you know, this is my gift. Um, this is my gift to share with the community. You know, this is what I am here for. So, um, you know, it's a pleasure to be here and to share this information, to also share this experience. And so if anybody's not familiar with Law of Attraction and how it works, I definitely, you know, recommend that you, um, you know, you get into that. So hold on, I got a little question. One second. What are you talking about? Your different minds, please elaborate. Okay, Fatima, what's going on? What's going on, Fatima? You know, you're probably going to have to uh, check out the replay. I'll go over it a little bit as I wrap this conversation up. But yeah, you definitely want to check out the replay. And if you're here watching this live, if you could just comment live. And if you're here watching this on a replay, if you could just comment replay, please. So basically, I was talking about the four levels of your mind. You have your conscious mind, which is like your primitive mind, which is like your basic survival instincts. What am I going to eat? What am I going to do? Your conscious mind. Everybody is conscious. So when people, it's really funny when people be like, what's up with the conscious community? It's like everybody's conscious. We're breathing, right? So next, you have the second level or the second type of mind, which is kind of like the mediator. It's kind of like the middleman. It's the one that knows how to reason, you know, and decipher between things. And then you have your subconscious mind. Your subconscious mind is the mind that's behind the scenes. 
schemes. That's the mind that's be, that's been programmed since birth, you know. And so, um, and so this is the mind that's been programmed from birth, literally. Uh, from birth, you know, we were programmed with certain things, you know, from our parents, um, from our teachers, from our environments and what we watched on TV, like all of those different things poured into our subconscious mind. And so when you're able to bring the two together, you are able to have that connection or that conversation with God. So if you're if you're if you're interested, you can go back and watch it. So anyways, um so that's what's been working for me and you know, um that's what's been hurt working for a lot of people. If you listen to a lot of successful people, a lot of wealthy people, they always talk about the mind and the mindset and having the right mindset. When you have the right mindset, you can manifest anything that you want to. When your mind is on spot with your visions and your goals, you can go for anything that you want to. And I'm sitting here speaking from personal experience. Like I've literally manifested different things in my life to get me in the position that I am right now. So right now I am working on the course. The course starts um, August 1st through uh, September 10th. And I'm going to be taking, um, I'm looking for uh, eight women, and I'm going to be taking you guys on a 40-day prosperity plan. And what we're going to do is we're going to work on re rewiring the mind and rewiring the subconscious mind and deprogramming that and reprogramming it with what we want really in our, our reality. Whatever it is that you want, we're going to get to the bottom of what it is that you want. And we are going to manifest that. And we could do that together because we're all one. So the more and more we all wake up to, I would say, reality, um, the more and more it helps everybody out around us. Like, it's that serious. The more you wake up inside of you, the more you honor you, the more you know thyself and know thy abilities, know thyself and know thy abilities, when you're able to do that, wow. <laughs> it's magical. <laughs> It's very, 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 very magical. So um, I'm, I'm having this course, and the course is going to be starting in October. And um, I'm reaching out to my goddesses. I'm reaching out to my sister, and, you know, um, to because you don't see very uh, many women educators, or uh, and the woman is what kind of brings the household and gives it that that natural nurturing ability, and it's in our natural feminine in essence, to know how to receive. And so part of receiving is letting go and surrendering. It's letting go and, um, you know, letting God. And, um, yeah, okay, I apologize about my lighting, but as long as you can hear my, the words that I'm speaking, it really doesn't uh, matter too much. But thank you very much. I'll just uh, come over here. But anywho, um, so if you were interested in, you know, tapping into the abundance that's inside of you, your your abundance well, because we all have it, we just have to remember those skills. We have to learn those skills. Um, please let me know. I'll be putting put more information out uh, about it, but we're definitely going to learn how to establish clear goals and strategies because when you don't have clear goals on what you want to do in life, you're just like living life just because. Like you're just living it on autopilot because you don't have the clear goals and then you don't even have the strategies to to um, to put the goals into place. So I'm going to be helping you identify your goals, identify what they are, and then and set up strategic plans to make sure that those goals flow. Because the only thing that we really need is we need things to be kind of be like on automatic. If you have things on automatic, it flows just like life flows, right? So, um, so we'll go over that, and then we'll also go over how to cultivate a prosperity mindset. 
it's important to feed the mind with the right information to remember that, uh, as I spoke about before, that, you know, prosperity is within us and it's, it's all around us. And we just have to remember that and we have to program our mind to remember that. And also we have to, um, you know, get out the, um, uh, you know, the old school programming of thinking that money is evil and that it's um, something bad when in the essence is really just positive energy because everything is energy. So, um, you know, it's, it's a chance to tap into yourself, you know. And so by doing that and by following your goals and, and having, you know, a, a straight plan, that becomes your meditation. See, some people think meditation is just about sitting down with your legs crossed and doing different things. And yet that is a form of meditation, but there's various forms of meditation. And so when you put your mind and your focus on your goals, that becomes your meditation. That becomes your motivation. So we're going to identify your motivation for meditation by establishing clear goals and strategies, if that makes sense. And last but not least, we're going to touch on how to generate generational wealth and wealth in this now moment on autopilot. Right now, I am on my 33rd um, different way, means of receiving passive income. And so I'm going to be sharing some of the methods on how I was able to accumulate 33 different strands of income. Yes, 33. Um, I just got into some Amazon uh, affiliate um, book uh, book things. And so that's something that I'll be uh, making another video about and sharing with everybody how you can uh, start right now becoming an automatic millionaire on autopilot just by putting systems in place. Please believe me, I am um, not just speaking just to speak. I am um, living in this essence. So um, as I said before, I'm looking for eight enthusiasm, enthusiastic women that are ready to change their mindset and that is ready to uh, really get out of their own way because that's what really blocks us. We make up excuses and we procrastinate and eat me even myself I do it in some things and I have to stop myself in that in that in that moment and readdress my goals because your why power when you know why you're doing something when you know the why power that's what keeps you to continue and drive on that why has to be so strong that nothing can come through it I mean, it has to be strong. And so these are principles that I live by. These are things that I have done. And these are things that have helped me. I have traveled um, countless different places, um, you know, Europe, Asia, Africa. Um, and each place that I go, I touch uh, a different, many different families and just touch out to help them and bless them with these opportunities that, you know, I have been blessed with. And so uh, that is my mission statement to, um, you know, bless each and every person that I come in contact with um, because I have been blessed so much that my cup just run over. It's just it's just running up out of me. And so it would be, you know, disrespectful not to be a, of service for the ancestors and just let the ancestors come through and just work for us, you know, for me, through us, you know, for us, you know. So um, I'm done sharing my story, you know. I wanted to be a little bit, you know, intimate and share, you know, what I've been going through for the last kind of like two months. It's been a beautiful thing. And so now I'm just sitting back in, um, you know, Mexico, just just vibing out, you know, just living, living good. So, um, you know, if anybody's interested in learning how to get out, travel, get free plane tickets, you know, uh, fix your credit and everything, you know, just contact me. I'm really looking for serious people who uh, respect my time um, as I respect your time as well. So this is Isis Love tuning out from uh, Mexico. May you have a blessed, prosperous day. Never, never, never forget that you are all in everything and there's nothing that you can't do. Peace.